week in the garden. I'm gonna try, the wind is horrible, horrible last couple of days. But if I waited on the wind, I'd never record. So the onions, I'm doing wonderful. Um, putting on their little tops, getting ready to do, loving it. Um, cucumbers. We have lots of little stringy runner things, but no blooms, no cucumbers. <sighs> I'm great at growing the vines so far, but other than that, nothing. Um, we have our little melon here, and of course, and I am happy to see this little basil plant is starting to really, see look here, that they're finally starting to grow. These are still really short, but yeah. Anyway, bell peppers, these are bell peppers, or bullnose peppers, I can't remember, but anyway. If you see, they're just not growing. I don't know what the deal is. Um, this one is one of the ones doing the best, so we'll see. Tomatoes up here, same thing. I'm struggling to keep this moist up here. I've got everything from little dinky dinky up to this. So we'll see if any of them do any good, you know? All right, in the strawberry bed here, we have strawberries coming out. Woohoo! And RJ has a couple down here he's watching, but I think a couple of them have started to rot. See there? So I told him he's going to have to come out and pick these. Those two are not. And that one is good. So um, he's got those there. Now, as you'll notice, there's a hole right here. Um, we have taken, chose to move the lemon balm. It was getting overrun by the mint, and you really couldn't see it. So I'll take you down to where we moved it to. I know it's the wrong time of year. But lemon balm, you guys, is not going to um, die away as long as it's got a good root ball. And as you can tell, I took the entire root ball and transplanted it. So, and I left that just for you guys to see. Took the whole root ball. Um, my little sage plant is holding on. Look at these beeches. Oh my gosh. Do you see them? Yes. They are wonderful looking. I can't wait to have some peaches. Some real peaches that I grew. They are all over this tree. Um, so, anyway, here is our stage. When this hay dries out, it doesn't stay in place. The wind blows it everywhere. But, my sage is hanging on. So, let's go. Oh, and I'll show you what else I did. I'm trying to keep the wind off the microphone, so. Um, I cleaned out where the spinach is. So this is my um, walking spinach, and as you can tell, it now has no more competition. I even have a couple of little ones down here that I found. And then this side just isn't doing as good. So um, we have a little clump right here and a little clump right there, but hey, it as a whole, you can see I've cleared it out. It's gonna get full sun. I need to do something with that in there. I don't know what though, so I haven't. All right, let's move on down here. We have our mystery vines right here, and they have pushed through this week on their little protection. So I'm thinking just let it be, and what goes, what happens will happen, right? All right, and here's what I've decided on this trellis. If you look, this is the Lufa gourds, and we're gonna let them go out. Um, we're gonna have Lufa gourds on the bottom instead of letting them grow up a trellis. And then these cucumber, uh, dragon's eggs cucumbers, I don't even know if I'm in frame, I'm gonna let them grow up the trellis. So, um, yeah, we've got, this one right here is a dragon's egg cucumber. This one is a dragon's egg cucumber. And I keep trying to put up the trellis, but it's just, not quite long enough yet so I just keep pushing it back that way and the wind just keeps fighting with me about it but anyway so I've got those and see this little dragon egg guy he's going up it these right here will come forward this is a loofah this is a loofah this is a watermelon oops sorry this is a loofah and this is a cucumber so cucumbers will go up loofahs and watermelons will come forward from here um, that way I don't have to worry about if I have enough trellis or not. So, okay. <sighs> Let's go over here. Ta-da! The lemon balm. 
as you can tell, it is no worse for wear. Um, I water it in every night. Um, it's doing really good. It, I thought it would have a little bit more protection there, but I should have set it further back in, and I didn't. So it's doing great. Um, I planted catnip in there. RJ and I went, and we got these little things on sale. Planted catnip in here, and I started watering. And yep, happened again. Those are not catnip. And that one was over there. I just emptied that. I thought about putting the um, lemon balm over there, but then I didn't. Um, so I wanted. It, I decided I wanted it in the ground, let it go everywhere. And even if it takes over this whole spot, I'm I'm okay with that. Um, I love lemon balm. Can't have enough of it. Uh, I have noticed that we do have some thyme in here. Um, I, I really want to move that one, but I don't want to disturb it. Does that make sense? So as long as I've got one or two plants in there that when that squash comes out, we should be good. I'm going to make, I, I'm saying squash. I hope it's a squash. Um, I'm going to make it flow over there so that this is can all be thyme. Um, this was supposed to be rosemary, but I ended up buying a little rosemary. And then, of course, my lavender, which, when I bought it, it didn't have blooms on it. But it has purple little blooms on it. Isn't it cute? Um, and then our sickly little tomato is doing wonderful. I just planted it a little bit deeper than it should have been. But it's doing good. So it's sturdy. I do have to get a tomato cage out there for it. Alright. Then... We have the strawberries. And I know I didn't put enough dirt. It's not tall enough. Whatever. Um, this is the strawberry bed that I traded those three hens for. I say I traded. Long story short, I sold three hens for $15. Turned around and bought this. And looky here. We have strawberries already forming. Great strawberries on all of these. Our day's happy. They're blooming. They're strawberries. Even if we get food out of them, um, we'll cover in the podcast what I did. So if you watch that, you know, kind of, sort of. Somebody wanted to lay in hands, um, and then an opportunity came up. That the exact same price that I sold this lady to lay in hands was the price of all of these, and I made the bed out of stuff here on the farm. So it didn't cost me anything, really. I traded three hands for it. So there's the strawberries. And like I said, they're really perked up. When I got them, they were really dry and wilted. But I water them in every morning and every night. Um, and I've been doing that for... Oh, I got them on Wednesday. And I didn't get them planted until maybe Friday. And this is Tuesday. So, I've been doing it for about, you know, three or four days now. And they're doing really good, so I'm happy with that. Now, the other thing that's been going on... <laughs> is my new favorite spot. Um, I have one more bolt to get put in here. But I redid the bench that my father-in-law made many years ago. And I put some chains on it. Now the chains are not the right length, so I've got to go and get an extension piece. And then this will be our swing. And this right here is a recycled piece. <laughs> You're going to laugh when you find out what this is. This is to pull a motor out of a car. And my daughter had a friend that was, he had two of them. And he just wanted them gone. Cleaned up his place, shut down his shop. And I thought, hmm, that'd be a great place to have a swing. He said I was crazy, but it'll get a paint job. And it will be amazing. So that's going to be my swing. The final thing going on here in the um, garden, and I'm hoping you can hear all this, is this spot right here. Now, right now, it's not my favorite spot. I'm not going to lie to you. It's got yucky grass and just terrible thing. And this right here, um, I have to burn. But this was where the brush pile was. And this brush pile took up this entire corner around here and around there all the way so I cleared it out and this is where the she shack is going to go 
so we'll discuss the plans for the she shack and it's going to be slow going i'm not going into debt to do it but i am going to get to work on it and it's going to have a greenhouse it's going to have a little awning it's going to have a fire pit an outdoor kitchen um a self-composting toilet and a shower stall um the shower stall the indoor sink are going to be gravity fed water source and pretty much the rainwater. so if i run out i run out because yeah i'm not that excited anyway um and then the water for the garden in, or in for the seeds in the greenhouse will also be off that gravity fed one so yeah and the toilet will be outside like an outhouse and so will the shower so i can come down here and just kind of hang out um i'll have my swing there i've got I already got a bench for the front of the house um it's going to have an earthen floor that will be sealed with linseed oil and it'll be my place to go barefoot and nobody can criticize it'll be my little rj says it might be my hippie shack i don't know what that means but hey um i love going barefoot so this is kind of where i want to be right now is <laughs> in this garden and i know i'm not great at growing anything but dang is it beautiful or not i mean honestly and I'll have my little garden fenced off, so maybe I will get some stuff out of it next year. Um, the sink in the she shack will be for washing veggies. There'll be a little table there so I can make salads or whatever. And then the outdoor kitchen. And it will have a heat source in it, which I believe is going to be a little fireplace. So we'll see. Um, but it's also going to be um, a pole barn style. So, yeah. All right, so there's the garden update, and I hope that you guys are actually seeing improvement in the garden each week. To me, it kind of is just little things, you know, things are starting to grow. Um, I worry about that grow tower. It's not really growing, but I'm trying.